Hello my friends and welcome to episode 81, I want to say 82. They must be the first humans to see that sacred place. The heart is not entirely part of Avalon anymore. But their presence still feels like I've been stabbed by a knife. Okay. I have heard so much about you, Bane of Britannia. I have foreseen your arrival. Why are you slaughtering my guard? How could you be so ignorant? You have just confirmed that you have no idea what the Green Knight is. He looks like a laser gun. Even that name is so very wrong. So human. What you are here for is the spirit of the she. The manifestation of the deep wood. Something ancient. By your presence here, that is painstakingly <laughs> evident. You should have already been able to understand what we were trying to tell you. Did you really think I'd be that ignorant? The dark cloud is the fragment of your dead king. The lady's human pet. I feel his anger and malice in my bones. All the she do. The green knight is the heart of the deep wood. And I can't let you destroy our wood. Time will This heal. guy sounds like a vampire. Time will heal all of us. You are not the cure for our illness. We, the she, always have the time. It is impossible. The spirit you call the Green Knight is the last guardian of this place. And only my death can evoke our protector. Well, we have our answer then. I'm afraid you are right. I understand your motivation, but still, I must stop you. Some gates. Any damage suffered will be deducted from the Green Knight. It's gonna say. The guy's got one HP. No mercy for the wicked. Reinforcements in three turns. those gates down before then. I can take them all. Actually before I start laying into this boy, what's his movement and powers? works on him. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ugh. 
the Lord is my witness. Get out of there. I can take them. Oh, reinforcements are coming. I'll be back for the other gate next turn. What is going on? His health restored. Gains permanent armor and regenerates HP for two turns. Can't act. Okay, so he's just stuck there. No mercy for the wicked. Ha <laughs> ha, this guy blocked him. No mercy for the wicked. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> 
Oh, I forgot about that. Time to feed the ravens. Keep our distance. Wow, he's still stunned. Stand in my way. He just restored all his health my weakness. again. I was hoping Tigger could do it by himself, but... Still no, uh, no damage. No permanent damage anyway. Kneel before you kill. Nice. 
motors. Okay, his armor is dropping. Till the right moment. I'm gonna take a slam here, but I need to get away. I can take them all. Kneel before your king. Kneel before your king. Got a cloak, Tigger. I need to keep my jump so I can disengage. What are we waiting for? I gotta keep these hexes on cooldown so that I can speed up the acquisition of death tech. Reacquisition of death service, my lord. The Lord blessings for my Camelot. I just do this for absolutely no reason. You command? No, it's gotta be spells. You command. Your orders? He keeps 
thoughts on recovering the uh, death hex damage. appear to have a move that's restoring his health. It just feels like the game is just giving him his health back for no reason. Just jumps straight back up to 600. There doesn't seem to be a good reason why that is happening. seem like it's costing him any AP to restore it either. I'll just shoot him. seem to have uh, made Death Hex useless against this enemy. I mean, it's not even like he's got a special move that's restoring his health that is uh, costing him AP or anything. just literally seems to be getting his health back for no reason. You command? sticks now. I'm going to carve you. 
Okay. Arthur's third shard is gone. But something is wrong. So wrong. The death of the Green Knight feels like a blow that has fractured Avalon. And the darkness of the void beyond is trickling through. This is not what was supposed to happen. Uh-oh. Looks like you ruined it. Who's going to make this? Yeah. What an interesting sight. Ooh. Okay. I really, I, you know, they basically just put a, a, a system in to prevent Death Hex from working until the enemy's, like, uh, health is down. And it just feels like a, such a fuck you. Because <laughs> it's the only good thing about Ector is Death Hex. All On a boss. to do was kill. What the hell are you talking about? There's one shard left, and it's all over. You must have unleashed something when you killed the Green Knight. It was the only task I gave you, stupid mortal. Enough of this. Watch your tone, my lady. The Fomorians are returning. Returning from where? Those beasts tried to conquer my island at the dawn of time. I had to sacrifice my dragons to defeat them and banish Balor, their god, into the void. It must be Arthur's doing. In his final despair, his last fragment reached out to your adversaries. Move against the Fomorians and find Arthur's last fragment among them. Try to kill him properly, if it's not too much to ask. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not in the habit of sparing my enemies. What is with her, like, teeth? She has, like, perfect teeth, but she does this all the time. <laughs> it's like, what? Wow. The vigorous manuscript of first aid. Regain seven vitality at the end of the mission, plus eleven vitality. It's pretty sweet. Tome of War. Gain two armor after each encounter if no damage was received. Well, that sucks. Dodge the first one incoming opportunity attack each turn, that's okay. Do movement while unharmed. Eh. That sucks. <laughs> There's no two ways to talk about it. This is, this is a crappy reward. My first level 15 relic and it's awful. Merlin has returned. My knight clashed with the wild hunt despite the odds the battle was won. Compliment Merlin for the great victory.
Merlin is so OP. This is not even Fire Drake's final form. Yeah, so I just, I want to finish up the episode by ranting about this. Ektar is, you know, a weak mage by this point in the game, compared to Merlin at least, and maybe even uh, Morgana Le Fay. He is, he is weak, but these hexes are, or I thought they were, the ultimate boss killing tools. And so, you know, at least that's something. At least he's got a specialization of killing killing single target high HP enemies. But no, of course, they made the boss just literally by script immune to death hex. So you cast death hex on it, its health drops down, and then at the start of its turn, any damage dealt by death hex is just undone. So Death Hex only works if you can kill him there and then. If you use it as, uh, you know, an opening amount of damage so you can finish the job. It's just really frustrating. If the guy had a self-heal move or whatever, which he appeared to have in his first form, if he had a self-heal a self -heal move and he had to actually pay an AP price or something to heal the damage, then fair enough. But it, that just wasn't the case. It was just a big, you know, get bent. And I really dislike that. It feels very wrong. Right, what else do we want? I don't think there's any way to improve his hexes. Two for Force Bolt are pretty nice. It's 30% extra damage as long as you've hexed the enemy. And I'm also considering grabbing spell resistance at some point, because it's good against bosses. Let's grab these two first. No point in getting the fire tree, since we're not built for fire. Grab the extra 10% damage at some point as well, and grab spell resistance and reduced incoming spell damage and fully negate the first spell. Spell strikes can do a lot of damage to him. Alright. Stab is a great tree. Hero gains one AP when killing a unit on the hero's turn. But I need I need a fair few points to get that. Let's grab Master Assassin. That's an easy two AP saved per turn. Unfortunately, jumping attack is not very good in that it puts you back where you were. A 
And that's not what you want with him. You want to actually get close to the enemy so that you can carry on smacking them around. time to heal or should we just carry on using him? issue with Balan is always keeping him alive. Area uh, uh, melee just seems really weak. Ever since we stopped fighting the Lost that would just come at you in a surround, melee has gotten weaker and weaker. At least to play in any kind of safe way. Let's just go with 20% less armor loss. Situationally, I think that's more useful. We will get defensive stance, eventually. Day is not that day. Less armor loss. Let's enhance shock, because it's a great move. And I'll enhance my physical debuff resist. Being stunned and ice cubed is actually being a pain in the ass. He's got so many health buffs, and yet, they really don't excite me. If he had 100 HP, each one of those would be worth 5 HP. Are you going to give up a skill point for 5 HP? I don't think so. These ones are a little bit better, but still not great. Just improving the resists is going to help because of, you know, enemies are starting to have a lot of resists. Alright, side missions, main missions, events. How do you get into the challenges?
You know, this law system feels like it didn't really do anything. Funnily enough. Okay, here's how you get to it. Knock down enemies a hundred times. Grants immunity to knockdown. I've never seen any enemies actually use knockdown. So that's useless. Extra 50 physical debuff resist for essence of constitution. That's really good. But we will never uh, upgrade the cathedral. Might get that one though. Yeah. Kill fifty enemies with bleeding. Bleeding is not something the enemy uses that often either. Oh, immunity to stun. Now that would be useful. I've never stunned an enemy. I just don't have any skills that apply stun. Mordred's lightning applies stun. But if you buy it. But I've never bought that. very difficult to achieve. That is a lot of damage. And considering I do most of my fighting at range. It seems like a bit of a struggle. Okay. The Wild Hunt returns. Wow. More Wild Hunt missions. The Beastmaster. And the Hidden Stronghold. That's it for now. I need to um, I need to sell. I need to check my gear and sell any junk. Check my gear, sell any junk, maybe uh, upgrade my facilities a bit. As of yet, not enough construction materials to uh, actually finish building everything either. So, anyway, I need to give it some thought, do a good clean out as well. That is it for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, see you guys next time.